I have a, a quiz paused. I thought it was going to be insanely easy, but it is not as easy as I thought it was, I think. Also, I got to say big ups to Sporkle. In a world where every website is trying to be as slick as possible and look like an iPhone app, Sporkle's still running the resume button with a little bit of texture and then the bevel and emboss surrounding it. So it looks like when you like would go to download something illegally, like this is the button that says download. But then actually, if you click on this, it installs like a crypto miner on your computer. What you're actually looking for is like down here, there's a button that's like start download in just text. This is the button that installs some spyware on your PC. But anyway, okay, so all the, these are four to 13 letter long words that start with the A. Let's, okay, this is army in the top left. Amber, anchor, athlete, airplane, alligator, Aluminum, aluminum, um, uh, um, a farm, abbreviation, advertisement. What do you mean score is 64 out of 85? Okay, let's think about this. A blue rock, appetite. And then crops, agriculture. I'm insane. I'm not going to sit here for two minutes. I give up. I'll take my 75. Aqua... What the hell? Aquamarine. Omrinque? <laughs> what is this format, man? I got to be honest with you. I think these are actually a little bit too easy. But now that we have some momentum, let's just try to like do a couple, Okay. So these are B now. You got Boat, Brain, Batman, Belgium, Brochure. It's great. Brochure seems like so much longer than one letter greater than Belgium. You have a Barracuda. You have Basketball, Businessman, Bullfighter, bull, bull fighting, Back Scratcher. Okay, let's be straight up. This is like the easiest series of... Uh, quizzes we've ever seen in our entire lives we immediately need to pivot to something new uh but you know that that's the great thing about sporkle they gotta have quizzes for everybody you know they can't just have quizzes for you know the point dexters among us they have to have uh they have to have quizzes for everybody okay I'm I'm looking here. I, I I'm in a science grab bag of quizzes. Okay. What the heck is woof woof quack boom? Can you pick the breeds of dog without clicking on any other animal? Absolutely not. I'm not a I'm not a dog guy. I honestly don't know that many dogs. I'm going popular this week that I have not done. Okay, scroll past all of the U.S. states one. What about, and this is difficulty or rating? Oh, man, we should go like highest rated. How about movie by annoyingly misleading title? That sounds like it could be fun. Oh, we, I, the trick is you get in your, into a great playlist and then you just let it ride, man. Okay, movie by annoyingly misleading title. Expectation, flaming races at Circus Maximus, reality stiff upper, upper lip British runners. That's chariots of fire. The main character devotes five minutes of screen time to horticulture, putting his trowel down for the majority of the film. I don't know it off the top. Robert Stroud's ornithology was all done in Leavenworth. The rock didn't allow trifles like canaries. The, um, bird something. Birdman of Alcatraz, yeah. There's literally two scenes set in North Dakota. That's Fargo. Don't even get me started. People who don't know German doubtlessly spent the whole time movie fruitlessly looking for footwear on a submarine. That's Das Boot. There is only one canine and no bodies of drinking water in the film. What is Dog R River? Wolf Reservoir Dogs. There <laughs> Despite the obvious implications of the film's title, the titular group only eats lunch. That would be the Breakfast Club. 
The problem is dozen simians never appear in the film, just some paintings on walls and such. Bummer. 12 Monkeys. Great movie. If you come into this film hoping it's about a weather-controlling shaman, I wouldn't blame you, but you'll be disappointed. I don't know. Two girls who murder one of their mothers. Hardly angelic material. Heavenly creatures. A rail line on the Hawaiian Islands? Nah, just a random name for a strain of marijuana. Um... Uh, 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 Kiera's Pineapple Express. Neither Lincoln, Garfield, McKinley, or JFK show up. Or any of the natural cause ones, either. Dead presidents? Yeah. I'm out for dead presidents to represent me. It's a bunch of drunk people shouting at each other for two hours. Nothing to do with Edwardian authors. I don't know. The title promised audience is a gender-bending twist on the classic fairy tale. That's Cinderella, man. Russell Crowe. What will betide you if you came for some great shots of engines and cabooses and instead got drugs and mayhem? What is train spotting? Yay! This one's got a lot of cringe comedy about divorce and not a whole lot of awesome underwater creatures. C. Something. The squid and the whale. A lot of cringe comedy. Okay. This is an older quiz. I got to tell the Zoomers out there. When they say cringe comedy, they don't mean that the movie's bad and cringe. They mean that it's like the Scott's Tots episode of The Office, which is like that, you know, you it's uncomfortable to watch. The only cringe thing about The Squid and the Whale, which is a great movie, is that they expect you to believe that a kid could play like a Pink Floyd song at a talent show and nobody in the audience, including the parents, would know that it's... Uh, not a Pink Floyd song. They would think that it's an original song, but anyway. Matthew McConaughey still lives with his parents. I wanted an Apollo 1 film. Failure to launch. No one in the entire movie mentions needing an affordable consignment shop, let alone searching for one. Goodwill hunting! With a 15% on Rotten Tomatoes, there's nothing fabulous about it. That's Miss Congeniality 2, Armed and Fabulous. Actually, it wraps up in 102 minutes. That would be The Constant Gardener, which is a great... Oh, The NeverEnding Store. Okay. The main character dedicates only five minutes of screen time to horticulture. The Constant Gardener. Great movie, though. Great. Fantastic. Ray Fiennes, uh, Rachel Weisz. Great movie. Weather Controlling Shaman. That would be Rain Man. Drunk people shouting at each other. Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? Honestly, too easy. Average score, 95%. It's the the clues are too strong. Like the the clues are too too meta. Like okay, this is misleading tagline. The Kiwi director of such splatterfests is bad. Okay, so this is Lord of the Rings. It's too, I got I'm sorry, it's too easy. I need a little bit of spice in my quiz in order to to keep me interested, okay? But I do like the the entertainment categories. Don't get me wrong. Movies cast in other movies. 101 clickable actresses' surnames. What the hell? Can you name the movie when given an image of four of its actors in different movies? <laughs> I could try. I could try. Mel Gibson. Danny Glover, Joe Pesci, Rene Russo. That's Lethal Weapon. Three. We have Michael Fassbender. We have Brad Pitt. We have Lupita. And we've got, I know you, Chewetel Ejiofer. Probably not pronounced properly. This is 12 Years a Slave. Alec Baldwin, Gina Davis, Michael Keaton... Catherine O'Hara. Michael Keaton. Is this <laughs> multiplicity? No, <laughs> no. I should know this. Is this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I know this. This is Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Michael Keaton plays Beetlejuice. John Travolta as John Gotti. Samuel L. Jackson. Okay, uh, this is Pulp Fiction. Come on now. Give me something a little difficult here. Christian Bale. Heath Ledger. I'm going to say that's The Dark Knight. Dude, Gary Oldman as Dracula is so funny. Natalie Portman, a lady 
Winona Ryder and Sebastian Stan. Who the hell is this lady? That's not Winona Ryder. Wait, yes, it is. <laughs> when I was looking at Natalie Portman going, it's not Winona Ryder. Wait, this is, is this, um, who's that lady? Who are you? I don't, I got to pass this one for a minute. Maybe something from the 90s. We got John Good. This is um, the Big Lebowski. We got The Rock and the Tooth Fairy, Jack Black, Karen Gillian, and Kevin Hart. That's Jumanji, the next level. We have... Uh, this is Requiem for a Dream. That's um, one of the Wayans brothers. I believe it's Marlon who was in <laughs> who was in Requiem for a Dream. Tom Cruise, Jack Nicholson, Demi Moore, Kevin Bacon, a few good men. This is doable, man. Tom Hanks, Audrey Tattoo. That's the Da Vinci Code. Great cast, shit movie. Keanu Reeves, Patrick Swayze. That is um, Point Break. Bill Murray, Sigourney Weaver. Dan Aykroyd, Rick Moranis, Ghostbusters. Excuse me, can I have some difficulty here, please? Meryl Streep, Anne Hathaway, The Devil Wears Prada. Great, rare, non-bald Stanley Tucci sighting. Leonardo DiCaprio, Margot Robbie. That's a tough one. I'm going to say The Wolf of Wall Street because I'm not uh, an idiot. And then Natalie Portman, some lady who's got prosthetics. Like, I can't even tell who that is. So let's go Natalie Portman's filmography, okay? Sebastian Stan is the younger bound of age here. Natalie Portman's filmography. Is this is this Thor, too? <laughs> I can see the Winter Soldier being in that. Okay, closer. We're going from closer onwards. We're going um, V for Vendetta. I can't think of a movie that has Natalie Portman and Winona Ryder. Leon the Professional. I have three minutes to do this. Star Wars, one, two, three. Um, there, maybe some Wes Anderson movies. Like she was in that French short movie that came before the Darjeeling Limited. Winona Ryder, Natalie Portman, stepmother. Sebastian Stan, what the hell? I give up. I'm in glance territory. Black Swan. Is that Mila Kunis? Called Darren Aronofsky. He's crying. That's Mila. What is this from? That Was that Oz the Great and Powerful? Why does every movie quiz have some like reference to Oz the Great and Powerful? It's not even, like, nobody cares about that movie. It came out almost 10 years ago. Nobody saw it. And yet, uh, it gets, even in the one we did that was, like, higher or lower for, like, uh, IMDb rating, it, uh, Oz the Great and Powerful showed up, like, all the damn time. Anyway, it's, it, I'm, I appreciate they made it difficult. That's good. We only beat the average by 33% there. I'm a great non-lateral thinker, I'd like to think. How about movies missing food? Can you name the food or drink missing from these movie scenes? No. I want to do that same thing again. <laughs> movies cast in other movies? Product placement movie, movie scenes? Can you guess the movies with popular products in them? Yes, this is Elf. You know what's crazy? This kid is 70 years old now. Okay, take me back to highest rated. That that movie cast quiz was fantastic. Highest rated quizzes. Graphic grid. Actors. Can you fill... What the hell is this, man? What on earth am I looking at? <laughs> sure, play timed. Can you fill this grid with the last names of the pictured actors? Yeah, probably. Um, so that's Schwartz and Neger. That's Jude Law. That's Bozeman. That's Reeves. 
That's Waltz. That's... I know you can't see any of their faces, but that's okay. That's not Kevin Bacon. Kevin Costner. That's Tommy Lee Jones. That's McConaughey. Can I get some pogs in chat for my spelling, by the way? Like, these are not easy names to spell. And I thank you. I appreciate that. That's Paul Newman. That's Brad Pitt. That's Will Smith. That's Sean Connery. You're seeing exactly what I'm seeing, by the way. I, I just need to scroll. I can see this person as an old man, but I can't see him as he is now. I'm going to have to pass that one for a minute. 24 across. 24 across. De Niro. Yeah, I don't know why I got stuck there for a second. Now, one down. Stewart. Stewart. Two down. Sellers. I know him from the Beatles documentary. This is Ethan Hawke. This is Idris Elba. This is Clint Eastwood. That can't be his real last name, right? This is Alan Rickman. That's uh, Bruce Lee. That is Billy Bob Thornton. Jackie Chan. That is... Clint Westwood? No, Denzel Washington. Dude, someone reminded me in chat of when, uh, or in on the subreddit thread from yesterday of the hardest I've ever laughed, which was when Chibley asked, isn't Denzel Washington that American president who got assassinated? There's so much, like, look, I'm just going to tell you, I'm getting 100% on this quiz. You don't even have to sweat it. There's so much there. Like, first, Denzel Washington is not George Washington they lived 300 years apart. George Washington also was not assassinated. Like, there's so many layers of humor packed into one single sentence. It's fantastic. What a, what a great sentence. Wasn't Denzel Washington the, the U.S. president who got killed? Anyway, like, I mean, we're going off here. That's Fonda. I knew it. I knew I could see you as an old man. Okay, only be the average by 19%. The rare two people with three people confused. Movie quote mini acrostic puzzle. What the hell? People really be going off in the in the sporkle quizzes. People being very creative. Okay, hold on. I got to hit pause on this one. Okay, chat, I'm going to need your help here, okay? M can you name the word that appears in... Oh, never mind. I didn't read the title before I went to it. I think I can handle this one. Toy Story, A Christmas Story. Story, the common word. Fight Club, Dallas Buyers Club, Breakfast Club, First Wives Club. Wonder Woman, Scent of a Woman... The Woman in Black, okay? This is Jojo Rabbit, Roger Rabbit. Peter Rabbit, I mean, sorry, Rabbit. It's too easy, man. Boba, Boba? Wall Street, 21 Jump Street. Beale Street, okay, hold on. Dragon, That was. there's a picture of a dragon on the screen. Hey, TSB Coke, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. I forgot which camera we were on there. Thank you. We got Green Book. We got the Green Lantern. I'm going to say this is green. This is too easy again. Space Jam, Space Cowboys, Office Space, 2001 A Space Odyssey. We got the Truman Show, Rocky Horror Picture Show, Best in Show. What, what is, okay, so it's obviously show. Chat, what's the top right movie? We got to get the highest degree of difficulty. What's, what's the top right movie on this one? Quiz Show. Okay, we got Back to School, Old School, School of Rock. What's bottom right on this one? Lego movie, scary movie, goofy movie, B movie. Understood. Um, I know these. We got Shaun of the Dead. We got this Dead Poets Society. Uh, Evil Dead. I didn't know the other. We got to go faster. This is Up in the Air, Air Force One, Con Air, Air Bud. 
Adam's family. This is going to be family for sure. Fighting in the family. I know that one. Um, Princess Bride. Princess Bride is Bride. Corpse Bride. Bride of Frankenstein. Father of the Bride. We got True Grit. True Lies. True Romance. I didn't see the bottom right. I'm going too fast. We got uh, Sky High. We got High Fidelity. It's high. We got Lady and the Tramp. We got Lady Bird. This is Lady. We got the Iron Lady. I don't know bottom right. We got Three Men and a Baby. We got um, Baby Mama. This is Baby. They also see Baby Driver in there. I see Hotel Transylvania. This is Hotel. That's Hotel Rwanda. The Grand Budapest Hotel. I'm, I'm insane. Zachary Quinto, what are you doing here? What movie is this? Why is it, NL, why don't you make your own quiz? Why don't you make your own quiz? What is this fascination? You like eating at the restaurant? You ever consider getting back there and cooking your own meal? It's not what I'm here for. I'm here to eat. I'm not here to make. I'm here to consume. Hey, NL, you, you love playing Super Auto Pets. You ever consider making your own Super Auto Pets? Not interested. I'll just continue playing it. I know you, you like this thing so much. You ever considered completely undermining your enjoyment of it by turning it into a chore? Okay. By the way, someone said that's not Zachary Quinto. Show yourself in chat. <clears throat> They said, LOL, that's not Zachary Quinto, by the way. Okay, you ready? <clears throat> hey, Bixby. Was Zachary Quinto in Hotel Artemis? Yes, he played Crosby Franklin. You ever hear of something called the Dunning-Kruger effect? Oh, sorry, I thought you were talking about somebody else. You thought, I was, you, you thought when I said, that's Zachary Quinto? What are you doing here? You thought I was talking about somebody that was not Zachary Quinto? My bad. Okay, good quiz though, good quiz. Movie word quadrants too. We only got three minutes, let's go faster. King Kong, Lion King, Fisher King, the King in the North, King Arthur, Legend of the Sword, Big Hero 6, Big Lebowski, Big Daddy, The Big Short, The Jungle Book, George of the Jungle, Jungle Cruise, I can't see the title, that went too fast, this is A Star is Born, Born on the 4th of July, Natural Born Killers, Kill Bill, To Kill a Mockingbird, Jeremy Renner in Tag, this is Wayne's World, World War Z, Ghost World, and World Trade Center. That's true, by the way. This is Three Amigos, Three Billboards, Three Kings, Three Stooges Remake. Ugh! American Pie, American Hustle, American Gangster, um, Wet Hot American Summer. A League of Their Own, Justice League, She's Out of My League, Major Leagues. Don't Know, Gone Girl, Girl Interrupted. I mean, gone, sorry, gone, baby, gone. What the hell? Oh, that's gone in 60 seconds. That's not girl interrupted. Gone with the wind. Okay, that, I should probably should have known that one, huh? It's the Hunger Games, Reindeer Games, Funny Games, and Patriot Games. That's my rule. I can't go till I name three or four movies. Music and lyrics. Sound of Music, Bill and Ted 3, We Love Music. Alice in Wonderland. Alice. <laughs> Just the one. I've broken my rule. Reservoir Dogs, War Dogs, Straw Dogs, Isle of Dogs. We'll go dogs on that one. Mars Attacks, Veronica Mars the movie. Mission to Mars. I'm going to guess that's Mars Needs Moms. I've never seen it, though. Jurassic Park, South Park, Bigger, Longer, Uncut. Gosford Park, I don't know the bottom one, but this is definitely Park. 12 Angry Men, Angry Birds, 
Drive angry. Headwing into angry inch. Angry. Harry Potter. I'm, I don't know this. Chamber of Secrets. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. What the hell? What is this? It said to be wrong. I gotta get one wrong. There's a land before time. Uh, before. Okay, go faster, faster, faster. Is uh, Indiana Jones lost in translation? Is lost? Okay. Harry. Yes! Harry and the Hendersons! I should have known. I've seen this in reaction images. I've seen it in reaction images. Harry and the Hendersons. Too easy. I mean, it is too easy. But it's kind of fun to get a lot of things right. That's all I'll say about that. Like, I mean, look, Black Swan. That's my favorite movie. This is uh, Men in Black. Meet Joe Black. Black Swan. Mean Girls. I don't know that one. Girls Trip. This is, these are trash? Okay, well, we'll do this last one then. This is First Blood, First Reformed, First Man, and Fifty First Dates. This is Freaky Friday, Friday, My, His Girl Friday, and some other movie about Friday, the 13th. Oh, that's a big one. Charlie's Angels, City of Angels, Da Vinci Code, Angels and Demons, and then some old baseball movie about angels. Got it. I love getting at least three, man. Iron Man, The Man in the Iron Mask, The Iron Giant. I don't know the the last one. Iron Sky, maybe? It is Iron Sky. I know that, but not Gone with the Wind. Monsters, Inc. I'm going to guess this is Monsters. <laughs> what the hell? Ian McKellen and Brendan Fraser were in a movie together? Eight Mile. Eight Millimeter. The Hateful Eight. Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Fear. That's Cape Fear. Fear is that fear.com? Fear Street. Okay. Pretty in Pink, the Pink Panther. It's Pink something. Uh Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery, Mystery Men, Mystery Science Theater 3000, the movie, and then some dog shit Adam Sandler movie, I'm sure. That one was made for me. Tom and Jerry. I'm going to say this one's Tom. <laughs> Happy Gilmore, Happy Feet, a movie, a Happy Go Lucky. I don't know the, the bottom right. Happy Death Day. Okay, I should have known that, actually. I believe this is Ice Age 2, Avengers 2, Age of Ultron, The Age of Adeline, and then, I don't know, I'm going to assume it's called The Gilded Age. Man of Steel, Steel Magnolias, Real Steel. I don't know the last one, but it's Steel. We'll go a little faster. This is Away, Spirited Away, Castaway. This is National Treasure. This is Muppet Treasure Island. This is Treasure. This is Inside Out, the inside job, Inside Lewin Davis. This is Narnia Chronicles. Golden Pond. Okay, Golden, good job. And then this is uh, Summer, 500 Days of Summer. Days, Days of Thunder, Summer. Let's go. Okay, it was a little close. Whoo! Sheesh! Okay, come on, give me something a little tougher. The timer is the only scary thing there. Song word quadrants? It's too, these are too easy. Okay, well, you know what? Take me back. Let's find some more high-rated quizzes. Sorry, mommy, sorry. I like the clever ones. Follow that line. This is Spinal Tap. Director from Five Frames is very good. Okay, I'll do that next, but first, I love Spinal Tap. Let's see how much I... Let's, let's gatekeep my own enjoyment of a movie that I say is one of my favorite movies of all time. Can you follow the line from This is Spinal Tap? It's such a fine line between stupid and clever, I'm guessing. What was St. Hubbins the saint of? In ancient times, hundreds of years before the dawn of history, lived an ancient race of people, the Druids. Nobody know, knows who they were. 
or what they were doing, but their legacy remains hewn in the living rock of Stonehenge. It's like fire and ice, basically, you see. And I feel like my role in the band is to be kind of in the middle of that. He died in a bizarre gardening accident some years back. Did he cuts his own head off or something like that? The authorities said, you know, well, best leave it unsolved. It's like, how much more black could this be? I know, it's, it's like, what is he, it's like, all right, we'll find it. Okay, I need to watch the movie. And the answer is none, none more black. I'm really influenced by Mozart and Bach. It's kind of like a mock piece. I do not for one think the problem was that the band was down. I think the problem was that Stonehenge was six inches high. Yes. 17 years and 15 albums later, Spinal Tap is still going strong. And they've earned a distinguished place in rock history as one of England's loudest bands. Can you play a bass line like Nigel used to do on Big Bottom? Can you double that? You might recall the lines in fifths. Don't remember at all. They're not going to release the album cover because they decided... Or the album because they decided the cover is sexist. Well, so what? What's wrong with being sexy? David is asked to write his own epitaph. Here lies David St. Hubbins. I don't remember. He was the patron saint of quality footwear? I don't think so. I wanted to capture the sights, the sounds, the smells. The smells of a hardworking rock band on the road. Why don't you just make 10 louder and make 10 be the top number, make that be a little louder? These go to 11. Classic line. Dozens of, spe of people spontaneously combust each year. It's just not really widely reported. May I start by saying how thrilled we are to have you here? We're such fans of your music and all of your records. I'm not speaking of yours personally, but the whole genre of rock and roll. What a great movie. You're a naughty one. Saucy Jack. The sustain. Listen to it. I'm not hearing anything, but it just goes. You would, though, if it were playing. It's part of a trilogy, really. A musical trilogy I'm doing in D minor, which really, to me, is the saddest of all keys. The Boston gig has been canceled. You know, it's like I saw this movie for the first time as like a 10-year-old. You don't get this joke when you're 10. The Boston gig has been canceled. I wouldn't worry about it, though. It's not a big college town. It's such a fine line between stupid and clever. He was the patron saint of quality footwear. I was in between fire and ice, kind of lukewarm water in a sense. You might recall the lines in fifths. Here lies David St. Hubbins, and why not? Okay, look. Psh. Too easy. That one was for me. That wasn't for you. That one was for me. Also, Fran Drescher in Spinal Tap. A lot of people forget that, man. Director in five frames. And she's not even doing the nanny voice, which is why I want no part of it. Director in five frames. I can't find it. Director in five frames. Director? Five star directors, director by top three movies. Nine in, can you name nine directors in 30 seconds? It's probably four frames. Okay, hold on. Director in four frames. Zero results. Google. Sporkle director in five frames. Five-star director's quiz. Am I being trolled right now? Director in four frames. Directors by picture. Four quiz stat. Results. I don't want to see the results. Can you name the director from their photo? Nope. Okay, that's not what we're looking for. Director in four photos? Zero results. Can you name four directors in one frame? What the hell, man? I'm being trolled here. Four directors, one frame? 
That sounds like a not safe for work video. It's three frames. Director in three frames. It's not three frames. Three quadrants. Director quadrants. None, no, none results. The answer is none. None more results. Director in quadrants. Sporkle. Film direct. Film by director. Nineteen quiz. Can you match each film to its director? I'm. I'm done with it. I'm done with this nonsense. Get audited. Someone's getting audited. I gotta search back through all these busted queries, man. Okay. Five scenes, one director. I can't believe I'm searching this. Five scenes, one director. Sporkle. Six scenes, one director quiz. Okay, there we go. <laughs> we finally did it. This better be the best quiz I've ever seen in my entire fucking life. Or I'm going to shit my pants. Okay. <laughs> Can you name the director from six scenes? And the scenes are not even like what I'm looking for here. They're, they're like little slices. There you go. Okay. I, start me. I'm going to start with you. I see the day after tomorrow. I think. I see an alien movie. Could this be then Ridley Scott? Okay, no. I see an alien movie. Could it be um, Paul W.S. Anderson? I see an alien movie. Could it be David Fincher? Is it directors? Is it Roland Emmerich? Maybe that's not even the alien. Okay, next. I'm getting bodied. What do I see here? I see Christopher Nolan. That's what I see. I see um, this is Edgar Wright. Easy money. I see Three Kings tra Transformers. That's not Three Kings, but this is Michael Bay. That's Bad Boys. This just looks like Wes Anderson, like just from the colors. This is John Favreau. You know, you'd think I knew it from Iron Man. I knew it from Elf, believe it or not. This is Clint Eastwood. It's just just vehicles and, and old men. This is Tim Burton, 100%. Okay, we're, get, we're in the groove. We're immediately out of the groove. This must be Mel Brooks. This must be Brad Bird. This is... Who the hell directed Troy? What the hell? And, and the, Mar the guy who directed Troy directed The Martian? Are you... And Prometheus? This is Ridley Scott? Ridley Scott? That's not Troy then. That's Gladiator. Okay. This is... A hard one for me. Who, who directed the shitty new King Arthur? That might be the man from Uncle. I don't know the answer to this. The, this seems hard. Pass me. I see Santa holding up his sleigh. I, these are monster movies. Is that the Da Vinci Code? I don't remember who did that. Okay, this is um, Will Ferrell's friend, Adam McKay, Oscar-nominated director. This is Stanley Kubrick. This is David Fincher. This is Wes Craven. I could tell from Drew Barrymore's scream. Forrest Gump. Contact. A movie where a dragon breathes fire. Castaway. Robert Zemeckis. I don't know where that lived in my brain. I think this is M. Night Shyamalan. <laughs> Easy enough. Wilson. So true. Who directed Slumdog Millionaire? 28 Days Later. That's Danny Boyle. John Candy. Um, 
This is um the um is this a Landis joint? No. This is uh who's the other one? John Hughes. Yeah. The two 80s directors. These are uh it's one of the Cohen brothers, presumably. No, wait, no, they, never mind cuz that's not the Big Lebowski. This is um Oliver Stone. That's Alexander up at the top. True Grit, these are the Cohens. Hellboy. Who the fuck directed Hellboy? Oh, Guillermo del Toro. It's one of those things where you're like, I don't know. And then your brain's like, yeah, you do. That's the Wolf of Wall Street Casino. Raging Bull. I'm going to guess that this is Spielberg. I saw War of the Worlds in there. This must be Hitchcock because it's in black and white. This is Tarantino. There's still a couple hard ones in here. This is this one's throwing me for a loop. Things exploding. And the alien. The alien. Oh, James Cameron. I'm so stupid. I forgot about like the best alien movie except for Prometheus. Okay. That's probably Cinderella Man with Russell Crowe. I don't know why the one at the bottom looks like the Tomorrow War. I bet it's the man from Uncle. <laughs> Couldn't tell you, man. Couldn't tell you. That's going to have to be a give up. And then this one. Space movies, monster movies. Tim Allen holding up his sled, maybe. And then what looks to me to be the... Maybe that's the Italian job. At some point, I feel like I... Oh, and is this Frost Nixon? I should know this as well. You always got to try the directors we have not tried yet. Soderbergh. Okay, take me back. Soderbergh. Where's my Ocean's Eleven? Okay, I, I give up. Guy Ritchie! Oh, of course it's Guy Ritchie. Of course. It, did, did I say what I was going to say in my brain? Which was it, same, it seems like a shitty British director. I didn't mean that. That's insulting to Guy Ritchie. He also made Aladdin. And then, Ron Howard. That's not a monster movie, man. Wait, maybe it is. I don't know. That's Apollo 13. What the? Oh, my God. That's the damn Grinch. And Ron Howard did do the Da Vinci Code. Okay. Well, oh, dude, we got a freaking gold mine here. Eight scenes, one movie. Can you name the movie from eight scenes sliced together? Yeah. Um, that's the Dark Knight. <laughs> that's Avatar. I ain't even seen that shit, but it's purple as hell. That's Roger Rabbit. These are the same movie. It's like he just wanted to reuse the slices. This is Willy Wonka. This is Chinatown. Okay. This is, it's, it takes place in Los Angeles. I don't know. This is The Incredibles. This is a Pixar movie. This is Cars. This is a Pixar movie. This is Wally. -E. This is, I got it right, as Wally. -E. This is Breakfast at Tiffany's. Really? I don't have an answer for you here. I don't know movies that came out before like 1985. This is definitely uh, The Wolf of Wall Street. That's a gimme. This is an Indiana Jones. This is Pirates of the Caribbean. Caribbean. I can spell that word. The only time I write it is when I'm writing Pirates of the Caribbean anyway. That's not how you spell millionaire. Randy the Ram, American flag. Is this The Incredibles? Doesn't look too much like The Incredibles. I see a, a big spoon. I see, uh, I see, this is The Wrestler. Let's go! I saw Marissa Tomei's uh, eyes. This is Silence of the Lambs. Great movie. 
This is Wild Wild West. This is There Will Be Blood. This is Gangs of New York. This is This is Wild Wild West. <laughs> I didn't want to have to make the guess. Uh, this is The Hateful Eight. This is a Wes Anderson movie. That's Jermaine Clement, though. Who the hell is this, man? I don't know. Pass me. This is Pee Wee's Big Adventure. This is Rain Man. Okay. These are hard enough. This is Titanic. Come on. I thought the old lady threw it in the ocean at the end. This is Blade Runner. This is um, Quantum of Solace. This is Spectre. Okay. You knew it was James Bond. This is Forrest Gump. Don't make me laugh. Too easy. What do I see here? Cameras, high-heeled shoes, almonds. Is this the devil wears Prada? I think I see Marissa, or not Marissa told me. I think I see Meryl Streep's hairline. Let's go. This is Pulp Fiction. I could tell from John Travolta's socks. I know this. I don't know this. Chad always makes fun of me because the mongoose shot is like so well known. But I don't know it. It's not Castaway because this guy is like he's 10 years too young to be in Castaway. I have no idea what this is. I know Chad's going to know it. So I have to skip. This looks like Moulin Rouge to me. Moulin Rouge. This looks like... Um, Pinocchio. This looks like Les Miserables. Red high-heeled shoes? I don't know, man. This is the Birdman of Alcatraz. I want to know what I'm looking for here. Is this the damn Grinch? What is this? This is Peter Jackson. Am I insane? Oh, because you're looking for movies. I was like, where the hell is uh, Peter Jackson in this one? This is Civil War. Come on. This is uh, Age of Ultron. Easy. I got to give up. I'm, I'm in glance technology. The Godfather. Is that any good? Beetlejuice! I should have been able to tell from the pants. The Grand Budapest Hotel. Did I say that this was Wes Anderson? I think in my head I said this is Wes Anderson. I don't know anything like... I, I've never taken a film class or anything. But I feel like... Um, every the, the thing about Wes Anderson is that the subject of the shot is always in the exact center. And not to mention the color palettes. You did also say it's Wild Wild West. Tell me this is not Kenneth Branagh's Loveless from Wild Wild West. Doesn't it look like he could be driving a, a robot spider right now? This is the same era. Wild Wild West and the Grand Budapest Hotel, same era. Life of Pi, okay? Sweeney Todd, honestly, should have been a pretty good guess. Vertigo, what am I looking at here? What is this? <laughs> it's a swapped color palette. I think that's, that's Cesar Romero's Joker from the Adam West Batman TV series in the 1960s. I think they spliced an image of this. It only takes one frame. Eight scenes, one movie. Yo, these quizzes are pretty good. We've, we found the gold mine. Can we also name the director? Let's see. I mean, this is 300 Zack Snyder. Easy money. This is the Lego movie. Lego movie. 
I should know who directed that. Was it the Russo brothers? This is The Princess Bride, directed by Rob Reiner. This is Home Alone, directed by a Hughes or a Landis. This is Jurassic World, directed by Corey Trevorrow. This is, this is X-Men, directed by the highly canceled, um, so canceled I don't even remember his name. This is Alice in Wonderland from Tim Burton. His name was Brian something, I remember that. This is uh, The Avengers, directed by Judd Apatow. Avengers 2, Avengers 3, Avengers 4. This is um, Age of Ultron. This is Civil War. This is Infinity War. This is Guardians of the Galaxy, directed by uh, James Gunn. <laughs> this is a movie. that I feel like I should know, but I don't immediately know. Am I crazy or does it look like this is Thor in outer space right now? Is it, maybe this is some eight millimeter stuff? Could this be eight millimeter J.J. Abrams? I don't know, I don't know, pass me. Is this Iron Man 3? This is Mary Poppins, directed by Walt Disney. This is Star Trek 1, directed by J.J. Abrams. This is Batman from Tim Burton. You got know, a couple of re reuses, but that's okay. This is Casino from Martin Scorsese. This is Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind from Michelle Gondry. <laughs> I'm so pissed because we had... This is V for Vendetta from the Wachowskis. I remembered the William Hurt's eyes. We got this one wrong on an earlier quiz. Sokka? I don't know what movie this is. Is this Clash of the Titans? Is this The Rock's Hercules remake? Is this James and the Giant Peach? <laughs> what am I looking at? Is this the... Oh my God, if this is the damn Hobbit. Holy cow, man. This is Inglorious Bastards from Quentin Tarantino. It's Mad Max Fury Road from the guy who made the originals, George Miller. Am I crazy? Is this Bioshock? Throw the bone. Indiana Jones. Temple of Doom. That's Ricardo Montalbán. I should know this movie. Last Crusade. Raiders of the Lost Ark. I should know this movie. This is Night at the Museum. Okay, let's go. <laughs> this is The Grinch, directed by Ron Howard. Saw that in theaters when I was like 12. I have nothing. This is a French movie. I have nothing. I have no context. What on earth is this, man? This is Shakespeare in love? Sharkspeare? It's not Shakespeare. This is a Harry Potter movie. <laughs> okay, this is Hot Fuzz. Edgar Wright. Iconic Timothy Dalton shot. This is Fight Club. David Fincher. Hunger Games. God, I hate, I hate Wes Bentley's beard in this fucking movie, man. It's the Hunger Games for sure. 
I feel like I should be able to get this. This motherfucker's in outer space. Are you Shazam? I give up. Ted? The, the, with the, the bear, the stuffed animal? That can't be right. This is the one with the talking bear. That, oh, that is Flash Gordon from Ted. Is that Mila Kunis again? It doesn't look, maybe she dyed her hair. This shit is okay. So now that's Flash Gordon. That's when Dolph Lundgren shows up at the party. This is Ted and the bear talking, and this is Mark Wahlberg as a child. This shit's pissing me off, man. This shit is pissing me off. I for, oh, you're right. That's Ted's girlfriend. I fucking hate Ted, man. The bottom is when he got ripped open. I can't believe that. What, they made two of those movies, right? Netflix keeps trying to recommend it to me. I'm like, I've seen that shit. Birdman, okay, I've seen Birdman. That's tough, though. So this is the play, and then everything else is from, like, a damn dream sequence. That's tough, man. That's not an easy one. I think Birdman is a movie that I wish I liked more, because I know that it's, like, um, well-respected. I like it okay, but it's, like, above my intellectual weight class, I think. Eight scenes, one movie, three. Great quizzes, man. 